Hey everybody, Matt here for AVC and welcome back to the shop. This week on the channel, we're wrapping the hood of my daily driver. A vinyl wrap on your hood is really just for fun. Uh, it doesn't serve any purpose other than looking cool. I've seen it around the internet and I've seen a few in person. I thought it looked nice and I thought I'd give it a try. So follow along and let's get this project done. On today's video, we actually take the hood off of the vehicle to wrap it. And in hindsight, it was probably more trouble than it was worth. It's gonna be much easier to wrap this on the vehicle. So go ahead and skip that part and just do yourself a favor, wrap it on the vehicle. And if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get to work. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood and take a look inside. To pull this hood off, we're just gonna take the two bolts on each side of these brackets off. I did pull one of them off already just to check and there is tolerance for alignment. So I went ahead and traced the bracket with a Sharpie. It's gonna make lining everything up in the future a little bit easier and quicker. So now that those are traced out, let's go ahead and grab our tools and pull this off. We have the hood on our table and now we're ready to remove these plastic grills. Now, removing the grill is not necessary. So if you're a little bit nervous about pulling this off of here, you don't have to do it. You can just trim your vinyl around to this edge. And I've seen some professionally wrapped uh, hoods and they've done exactly that. They didn't bother taking these off. I actually have a history of wrapping parts on vehicles. And so if I have the chance to remove something like this, I think it's preferable to do that because it ends up capturing the edge. Uh, kind of like throwing in vinyl floor, it's nice to capture the edges where you can. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these. And to do that, we're gonna need a couple of tools. We need like some body panel popper, something like that. Like plastic ones are gonna be really nice because they're not gonna scratch the paint as easily. And then having something like a little pick or even a little flathead screwdriver, something like this can help you get that job done. There's a couple little clips inside that are gonna be tricky to get to. All right, looking inside the driver's side vent, uh, there's a little bug screen here that's gonna keep some debris out of there. And we can just gently push that down away from these clips. And that's gonna give us room around that clip to navigate. Okay, so I'm just gonna push that down and out of the way for now. Then uh, there's actually an adhesive bond around the outside of this. We're gonna have to loosen that up. So we can do that either parking the van in the sun and letting things get a little warm uh, we did that already, and then I took the one end of this really low profile here, and I just slid it all the way around the outside of this edge to break that bond around the hood, and that's gonna help pull it off of there. You could soak it in adhesive remover or something like that. I don't suggest that because you're gonna have to make sure you get all that adhesive remover off before you put down your vinyl. Otherwise, they're gonna you know, fight each other. So we got the glue bond broken with our tool here, and now we're gonna start pulling these clips. Starting in my corner here, I'm gonna slide the skinny end of my clip underneath. And then I'm gonna reach in here from the side and just pop that clip out. Okay, and that's out there. And do the same thing as I go along here, pop that out. There we go. So with those four back clips off, this is gonna pop up. And then you can see that adhesive grabbing here on the front edge and pull that out. So there we go. Now there's one out. Uh, we can go ahead and just set this aside for later. Uh, this other one is gonna be a little bit harder because it's actually solid. So this isn't a grill. This is uh, just a cover or a blank in this location. So we can do the same thing, cut our adhesive around the outside and, and know where those four clips are and we can use this one for reference. Alternatively, we can flip the hood over and we can get access to those on the backside. So let's go ahead and do that. We do want something in here so that as we pop these off, it actually gives us a little bit of pressure. Still fighting that adhesive a little bit. There we go. And with that popped out on that side, we can flip our hood back over and remove this grill. As you can see, that adhesive is still sticking a little bit, but it's out and in one piece, so we're happy. I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up. I'm also gonna scrape the hood down, make sure there's no bugs, anything on here. To do that, I'm just using some Windex and a plastic scraper. So this is just like a little plastic razor blade. Uh, we can get these on Amazon. You can also get these at like a local auto body supply store. So if you have one of those local to you, uh, that's a good resource for some of this stuff. So I'm just gonna use some of that window cleaner as lubricant and we can pull this adhesive off of here. We got all the bugs, all the adhesive, everything like that off of this surface. Now we just need to prep the surface. As always, we're gonna shoot this with some isopropyl alcohol and get everything nice and clean. Okay, we also wanna make sure we get underneath all of these edges because we're gonna wrap that vinyl down behind the edges so that it gives it a nice fully wrapped look. 
Uh, so make sure you don't forget to wipe down that inside inch. And as we can see, it's pretty darn dirty. Today, I'm gonna be wrapping this hood in matte black vinyl. And the kind of vinyl that we're using today is actually really important. So today we're using 3M Control Tac. This is a vehicle specific application. And really what makes it special is two things. One, there's air egress technology built in, which means it has little veins and capillaries that are gonna allow the air to get out of there so we don't get any bubbles trapped in. The other thing is the kind of adhesive that's on this vinyl. So the adhesive are like little fingers that stick up and until I apply pressure and actually stick that vinyl down really firmly, those little fingers are gonna hold it off of the, the hood of the vehicle and allow me to peel it up and reposition it without a whole lot of trouble. I cut a little sample of this here. I can just peel the whole thing off. And if I put it down on top of the, the hood here, you can see as I pressure it down, oh, there's a little bubble here. I can just smooth that bubble right out, which makes it really easy. I can also peel it up and as you see where I didn't apply the pressure, it hasn't stuck down too hard, but I can still peel this up if I need to and just start all the way over. So we're gonna cut a piece that's full size to this hood. We're gonna peel the whole thing off and we're gonna get to wrapping. So I have a piece of vinyl here that is 78 inches by 38 inches and I'm gonna peel the whole thing off and lay the entire piece of vinyl over the top of my hood. I'm gonna work for my flat planes out first. I'm gonna get everything smooth here and then I'm gonna use pressure and apply and pull it around these corners and try to keep them as smooth as possible. While I'm doing that, using this kind of a squeegee, and this is from uh, geekwraps.com, this squeegee with this felt edge is gonna keep it from marring the vinyl, make it a little bit easier to apply as we go. We're gonna go ahead, peel the vinyl, and get to wrapping. All right, the initial wrap on the main body of the hood is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and start wrapping the backside seams onto the backside of the hood. Okay, now here on the backside, I'm gonna go ahead and trim the vinyl down to about two inches all around the perimeter so I have a little less to work with. I'm gonna use a heat gun and stretch around these corners and just set it onto the inside lip. Once everything is set, I'm gonna come back with a knife and trim everything down so it's just a nice clean edge. We'll wrap these, we'll cut these open and wrap them inside. With everything wrapped and all of our edges tucked behind, we're just gonna use our heat gun, run over the entire thing. And vinyl has a bit of a memory, so if we heat it to this contour now, it's gonna help it remember that shape and stick better in the long term. It's also going to inflate any bubbles, so if we did have a bubble or someplace that's not stuck down really well, we're gonna see it when we start heating everything up, because that air is gonna expand. So let's go ahead, heat it up. Keep in mind, this is matte vinyl, so we don't want to get it too hot. If we get it too hot, it'll actually turn it kind of glossy again. So we just got to be careful. We reapplied a little bit of sticky underneath the edge, and now we're ready to reinstall these. Make sure we get tight to that corner. Vent covers are back in, ready to reinstall the hood. With our hood reinstalled, this project is a wrap. If you thought this was a fun one, please hit that like button and we will see you on the next video. Catch you later.